What's up people, we are back with more Sherlock Holmes. I believe we had to investigate the body which was in here. You should examine the body of Sir Eustace Brackenstall. Alright, whatever you say, Watson. He's my right hand, you know? Mantelpiece. Bell rope piece cut it bell rope. It appears that the bell rope was cut by someone taller than me. And I am one of the tallest human beings on earth. A fur trader's cabin. So, Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received the blow to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. Interesting. Let's look around first. Glasses. Of course, he was drinking. standing next to the open bottle. An inseparable pair, indeed. Chateau Calon Ségur. French wine. Grand Cru. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible bees wing. Bees wing? What the hell is a bees wing? There is bees wing at the bottom, as if the wine had not been decanted before being poured. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible bees wing. It is rather strange that only one of these glasses has dregs of bees wing inside it, while the other two are clear. I'm not a glass or a wine expert, rather, so... I have no idea what the hell a bee's wing is. A deer hunt. Well, that obviously a has to be some sort of cabin. important clue. This door leads to the upstairs bedrooms. Apparently, the criminals did not venture there. Okay, that, that's very the hunting good. Scene. That limits the area to just the scene of the crime to just this area. These wine bottles are expensive and mostly from France. Alright, I'll like candlestick. This candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. This means that they were after something very specific. They didn't just go to like, oh, rich people probably live in this house. Let's t take whatever we, we can or want. No, they wanted something very specific. An empty silverware box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. Has to be anything else here? Just the candlestick, the bottles. That's it. So it seems. All right. Normally, when you find every single clue at at a location, though, that which you are zooming in at, when you found every single one of them, oh, missing a bottle. bottle of wine right. is missing here. See, the then it zooms did out. not thoroughly ransack the house. They only took a little silverware. So that lets you know that you're done with the sideboard or that particular area. Wow. Dogs chewing up a deer. Why would anyone want a picture of that? Sailor's knots. That's interesting. This rope was handled by the murderers. We need a scent hound. To follow their trail. Toby! I will take it with me. We have Toby. Go find Toby. Oh, yeah. Alright, not a rope. Um, criminals, I didn't know. Then it's not that one. This one for sure. Three people, two people. There are two people drinking wine out of these glasses. The raining glass with the B string solely uh, consisted solely of the dregs from the other two glasses. I'm I'm guessing it's this one for now at least. This is the chair that Lady Brackenstall was tied to. Poor lady. Oh lady, my lady. Right, the glasses 
there anything else? The hunting scene. Statue. You okay, statue? Yep. A hunter's cabin. That's the face of someone who looks okay. Antique hunting weapons. Hunting weapons. Uh, that seems to be about it. So on to the body, right? Yep. We check that picture. Okay. Body inspection. That must be the murder weapon. The poker. Quite a large stick. A formidable weapon. That's how he tried barefoot. to fend off the attackers. He had therefore attackers. been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. All right, our our victim has feet indeed. Oh the God. head was cracked with the force of the blow. Cracked with the force of the blow. Uh, dead body, bent poker. Blow. Is there anything else? And stick feet. Fireplace. The it grate. is covered in blood. Sir Eustace might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. Fireplace great that body It's either deadly accident the death of Sir Eustace could have been due to his accident accidentally striking his head on the fireplace great or the death of the Sir Eustace could have been due to poker blow. Oh so you're ah. So you're either trying to pin on whether he died from the poker blow itself or whether it was from the blow after hitting being hit by the poker and then falling into the fireplace grate but from what you uh, Watson told me it, it was from the poker if we change that then this doesn't match uh, we'll stick with this for now we're gonna wait until we have every single clue anyway before we try to fit everything together the death was instant yeah, that's what he said. Um, collect Toby from Baker Street and follow the scent trail. Who do we need to ask? This? The glasses. We should probably ask the woman about this. The straw. searched outside for footprints. Do you like bee swing woman? There are three glasses on the dining room table. I was wondering if... Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have been a father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers, and then they left. Your ladyship? Hmm. Please leave my Mary alone. She suffered so much, she deserves some rest. <laughs> alright, alright. She looks so tiny. Like, this is us, Sherlock, just looking straight forward. She's almost like a midget. Alright. Oh, we asked her about that. I don't think there are any other clues. Just the knotted rope and the criminals identified, which do not fit together, so... Yeah, let us go to Baker Street and oh, we can finally use Toby. After seeing him in the beginning, I just I just couldn't wait until we had to finally use him because he's a dog. I love dogs. Dogs are cool, you know. They go like woof, and then I'm happy. But I don't know. I just feel like he was there waiting for us all along for us to give him some attention for him to be useful in one of our cases and now is his time to shine so come on toby here doggy Woof. come on toby we need the best nose in the british empire on this case 
I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. <laughs> All right. Follow the scent trail. Where is he going? Wait, let us perform analysis on the rope first, seeing as we're at Baker the Street anyway. Cut. The fibers at the end of the rope are smoothly cut. Let us try to find out what tool was used to cut the rope. Alright, um, scissors. The fibers from this cut appear to be different. Yeah, they go more outwards. So it's not this scissor. scissor. Take a knife. If I cut the rope with a knife, it matches the original. That means that the suspects were armed with a knife. Sailor background. The rope was cut once with a sharp knife and tied quickly in a sailor's knot. That could indicate that the intruder had, uh, had a sailor's background. That may very well be true. Alright, what do we actually do with Toby now? I follow the scent trail. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cut. Someone should take Toby for a walk. Alright, come on, Toby. Is he. If we go to Abbey Grange now, is Toby going to come with us? Yes! Oh, Toby! Toby, my man, Toby! I mean, look at that suave looking dog. I almost wanted to howl like a wolf, but... He's not a wolf. And it's not even full moon. Not today, at least. I actually saw that today the moon was exactly like cut in half. You just saw like half a moon. Search, Toby. Are we Toby? Hey Sherlock, alright, let's follow the scent trail. Oof, oof. <laughs> Come Sherlock, follow me. I know where to lead us. Sherlock? Holmes? Boss? Okay, I'll go out and, and pee against the tree branch or something and then I'll be back. I just have to mark my territory, you know? They went in here. The intruders entered the shed for some reason when they were making off with the silverware. My my, if this isn't interesting. Brave Toby, the best nose in the British Empire. Okay, shouldn't you check inside then? Or I don't know where the trail. Oh, the trail's here. <laughs> Sherlock. The scent leads to the well. I shall check it. Yes, Detective Toby is on the case. And then they walked over here. Just with my powerful dog sniff. Why doesn't he follow us? And then they went up here. Over the wall. The intruder's trail is lost behind this wall. The criminals left the house through the French window. They walked to the shed, then across to the well, before fleeing by climbing over the wall. I wonder why they chose such a winding route. They were trying to dispose of something. I feel. I don't know. We gotta check this out. 
Let's check the well. There's something glittering at the bottom there. But how can I reach it? With the bucket. I need a hook. Oh god, we don't have a hook, do we? If only I had something with which I could lift that object. So we, we cannot do this one yet, but it seems like they dumped something in there. The other place that we needed to check out was the shed. We might find something here, a hook. This Perfect. hook might be useful. Well, this suitcase. old suitcase sounds hollow. It must be empty. Small gardening tools, nothing of great interest. Bags of seed. Some empty bags were recently moved. Is that all? Wait, there was a bag at the bottom, right? That's what it looked like, at least. Yeah, there's a bag with something in... The glittering object is either something on top of it or sticking out of it, meaning there's that the bag is, like, broken. There's a hole in it. Right. Let's attach the hook. Use the windlass. Perfect. Oh wait, this is not a big bag. Silverware. This is hardly a coincidence. The Brackenstall coat of arms. It appears that we have found the stolen silverware. But... What? They... I don't understand. So they put the silver... Stole the silverware, then decided to hide it in here as a practical joke. Unless they put it in there and then decide to come back at a later date to come pick it up again. That, that would make somewhat sense, but... So, mo ro robbery is the motive. Robbery is, con robbery is confirmed as the motive for the crime. The criminals may have plans, plans to return for the silverware that they have dumped. The robbery could have been imitated to explain Sir Eustace's death. The silverware was not supposed to be found. That's a possibility. But then this doesn't match. Because you're either on, either choosing whether it was actually the Randall gang or an imitation of it. Randalls are guilty. I'm not so sure. Not yet, at least. We've come to this conclusion, but is that actually the case? Where's the woman? I need to ask her. This case is a rather quick one. If I've already come to a conclusion. We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. Your ladyship? That's all? to ask her we found your mistress's silverware oh that's good news you really are as clever as they say indeed something smells fishy here Inspector, I have recovered the stolen silverware. You are a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In the garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? Rather absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place. Or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. 
<laughs> so all we actually have to do is we f I think we found every single clue let's think about this just very well okay so if the motive actually was just to to steal the um, what's it called? This the silverware? Why would they dump it in there? There's absolutely no reason whatsoever. Whereas, let's let's see if we um, B. If you come up with the other conclusion, this this means that the the, um, the Randalls are guilty. But what if it's an imitated robbery, and that it wasn't? That it was a fake. The robbery was faked, and the whole story invented in order to uh, blame Sir Eustace's death on the Randalls. Three people, two people. Then you have domestic violence, murderous visit. Sir Eustace was murdered by one person who was visiting that uh, that night. It was he who tied up Lady Brackenstall. He is tall and strong. Murderous visitor. That means acquaintance with a sailor. Look for sailor. The person who was visiting that night was probably a sailor. So we have to look for a sailor. If we decide to go the other route. Search archives. 1990, uh, 1893. I gotta look very carefully this time because last time I was looking at 1883 rather than 93. Because it is strange that she has a picture of it. It could just be that be maybe she herself wanted to get rid of her husband because he was very violent towards her. She didn't like it. The the other woman sure as hell didn't like it, the Theresa, Theresa, and she is very protective of her, I mean it just, it just seems fishy, I don't know why, it just doesn't seem right, that it would be the Randalls, and then that they leave the silverware behind it, if you can just make an escape for it, why not, unless you were, the police was there, and they just had to I don't know, it just doesn't make sense really. Right. Arrival of the Rock of uh, Gibraltar. A ship returned. The Rock of Gibra Gib Gibraltar, I don't know. Gibraltar, Gibraltar. A ball carrier from the Adelaide, Southampton, London line. Cunard Building, James Street, London. Has returned from a six month voyage through India, New Zealand, and Australia. The ship brought to uh, England the Miss Mary Fraser. The heiress of the Fraser family, owning land and tin mines in Australia. This reportedly beautiful young lady is present, presently engaged to Sir Eustace Brackenstall, one of the wealthiest. Ah, oh, so she came on the boat, a uh, rock of Gibraltar, and her original name is Miss Mary Fraser. Here it is. Interesting. Task for Wiggins. Oh, Wiggins. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. The specialist Wiggins. All right, we're gonna do that in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.